Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the world of Risk Global Domination. I am Kilted. I am a competitive player in Risk Online. Today, we're going to be the orange player, Mr. General Reacher from the United States. We're going to be playing the most popular settings in all of Online Risk, the Europe Advanced Progressive Capitals, the official Risk Meta settings, everybody's tried and true favorite settings, I have a nice little cap potential in Ryan. This three doesn't seem bad. It probably locks down most of Scandinavia here. London cap looks really good with a Scotland blizzard. You get the noob corner. Now, what else do we have? Greece blizzard and Sardinia blizzard. So the entire, oh, and Egypt blizzard. Super honeypot, baby. Oh my God. This entire bottom Africa into Spain. Single point from Gascony. Oh, this sucks. So what sucks about this is I'm last. So I can't just cap on a one and be safe. I have to cap on a two or a three or somebody's going to roll my capital. Yes. What do you guys... Come on. You... No. 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 Stop it. Stop looking at this four. Don't tell me to do that. I know you're doing... You think I'm dumb? I know exactly what you guys are thinking. I know exactly what you're thinking. Of course you want me to cap on this four. Why wouldn't you? Okay, we've seen red's cap and we've seen white's cap. There is 0% chance that there's... The other three caps, there's got to be like two here, right? This is a Fiesta Dogtown. There's one here. There's one here. Somebody capped in this corner because that's the best way to play the game. Maybe up in here. Let's say one's in Iceland. One, two. One's in Iceland. Maybe somebody's here. Like, is there a world that we can actually, like... Portugal? I, I take a Portugal cap and I come out of Spain, maybe? <clears throat> I'm not going Madrid because I don't want to have a four cap. Red may roll that. He gets a lot of troops in the first turn. He can come off his two. Oh, stop it. I want... Maybe, okay, maybe, maybe, maybe I should have done this. Maybe I should have... This is Sardinia. What's this? This is Naples, right? Sorry. I mixed up my, uh, whatever. Maybe, maybe... Pink's up here. Pink, red, white, somebody in noob corner. Come on, Iceland pocket. And then someone here. Imagine nobody's down here. There's no way nobody's down here. I am not that lucky. I am not that lucky. We can turn one Spain though. I get a lot of troops in the first turn. I get eight troops minimum. I have a lot of troops down here. Can I do the noob corner power bottom honey pot slammer right through the Gascony hole, right? Gascony's open. Red didn't go for it. He went for noob corner. He had two cap locations that were decent. He chose this one. Oh, lose all. Don't roll that. Oh, that's a bad dice roll. Don't do it. You don't do it because your cap will be empty. He's got a four cap. White has a four cap. Depending on if somebody, like if, do Daenerys Alps, a Vienna or a Hungary cap. Somebody capped in here for the easy two point plus four bonus. And then see him lose all his troops and he's got a four cap here. Like they come in or they're like, White might lose his cap right now if purple's the one in here. Black could also be in here. Does white cry? Dude, if nobody comes out of this bottom. Can you imagine? Can you imagine the possibilities that are bestowed upon us right now? I mean, he's you know he's going to be here right He's up here. That was a fortify up here. Maybe he did attacks up here. Black, I'd better not see you down here. Please. Or over attack down here so I can yoink your cap. I get eight troops. I can make a 12 here. I didn't see black and I didn't see a fortify. There's a chance. Hear me out. Black did multiple attacks, right? More than two. So he's less likely to be Iceland. I think purple's here. Black probably is here. Can I? General Yamada. Our opponents, by the way, Patty Four Grunt from France. Orchid Dota Class Day from France. Double France. Geo the Brute from Spain. Ooh, we got General Yamada from United Kingdom. General Mahajan from unspecified location. Okay, so white. Has this bonus. Let's say White gets 10 troops in the first turn. He can make a 12 cap. Thing is, do I go for Spain and then let Black... Like, Black might be very vulnerable. He put all his troops here and clean this out. 
He might be very vulnerable with a cap here, or he might even have a cap in the corner and be vulnerable to me blocking him. Or knocking all his off cap troops. And if I break him and he quits immediately, I, I win the bottom section. I think I'm just going to do this for now. Let's play this safer. Please don't be here. Interesting. Red could break me if he wants, but uh, <clears throat> hopefully we can be friendly. Oh my god. I think black is here. Trying to read the fog. Pinks up in Russia and has rushed. Turn one Russia. Bro. Turn one Russia. Turn two Scandinavia. Pink is snowballing. And uh, so, like, there was an alternative. Like, if I cap in Georgia, maybe I play for the Orient. But then I'm behind white and I would have been trapped running into pink here. So I, I like my position better than Orient. I don't like my position a ton. I If you're playing... If you're willing to play a five-hour game and you just want to survive till the late game and play a long game and not get card blocked and blah, 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 Rhine probably was the best cap for a long game if you're willing to do that, right? You guys know I, I don't I don't value winning more than I value fun and excitement. So I'm going to cap for the Spain into maybe try to bully Black out or take him out of the bottom into having like the entire bottom Africa, Africa, Spain, right? That's a honeypot, hot pocket, juice ball, and I got to have it. I'm going to play for that. And if I lose the game because I choose a bad cap or something, that's perfectly fine. Let me have some spice in the game and take a second or a third or even a sixth. Much more enjoyable to me than sitting there for four hours just to get first. Now, if I have a spicy game that leads to like an intense 1v1 that can last an hour or something, so be it. Ah, uh, he's coming in to break me. He saw me take Spain. Shit. Shit. How much did he start with? Nine. Yeah, he definitely has this. <laughs> and he breaks this. But that was all of his troops. If he gets nine and makes an 11, tries an 11 on six. <clears throat> do I try to break down here then? Or open his cap? Or what do I do? Okay, Red's going to knock that black out there. If he knocks to Gascony, that's cool. I could retake and then leave this three. He has to come through the three to break me, but it opens my six. But the amount of turns that I'm going to play against black, where he gets nine and I only get five, is... is... There's his cap. Give it to me, baby! No. Alright. Okay, let's just do this. He doesn't... <laughs> Black's gonna get how many troops? Enough to take my cap, I think. <laughs> so, he had a six here. If I made a 12 and went through a 2 and a 2, I still don't get into his 6, right? We had the right read on him. Black's getting cleaned out of the rest of the board. Now we're in the fight for the honeypot, and he has advantage on me. Whether I captain Spain or Sardinia. I guess if I captain Sardinia, I could have yoinked him. I would have had a 7. I could have made a 15 on the first turn, and that would have been an epic yoink. Or epic potential for a yoink. Purple gets 15. What is purple holding that's giving him 15? Uh, this middle plus four plus what? What else does he have other than this? Let's... Pink, uh, Pink's getting 10, so he doesn't have Russia anymore. White lost his cap. So purple has Daenerys Alps. Oh, and this and white's cap. White got yoinked, dude. <clears throat> okay, black gets... Uh, eight troops. He can make a ten. Ten on three on one. It is what it is. This is a tough game. Tough start to the game. If his cap wasn't here, if it was in one or something, then the break would have been a lot easier. 
Me committing to going through two two stacks that were not blacks and then not getting anything here, I lost all of those troops for next to nothing. And now I'm going to pay for it, right? If, if he's doing this right, he does. He wins this. He bullies me out and then forces the win. Oh, he's going for a white kill? Oh, he's going for Africa. This is a mistake. Because if he lets me hold that bonus, I'm... Oh my god. He wanted to, to, to knock me out of here thinking I might have, like, something up here. That was a big mistake. What you need... Oh my god, and a slider error to boot. That's amazing. And he blitzes a two-on-one. So his, his cap's just a six. If red doesn't destroy me... I get 9 troops, I can make a 12, 11, 11 v 6. I don't 11 v 6. But I take all of his territories. Red's focus Red's being friendly here. He's going to let me fight black. Huh. I'm going to 3 on 1 that black 1 2. I I want to knock his territories down. <clears throat> so if I open his 6, he can come out with a lot. So I don't open his 6 and I hit all of these extra territories. Problem is I have to hit a red one here, but uh, it is what it is. Let's uh, work on black. Okay. He has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight territories. It's very likely he doesn't have more than eight territories, right? So I'm not going to go any further, and I'm going to put the 6 here. If he gets 8, he goes 9 on 1, he can 8v6, leftover shouldn't get my cap, and the 8v6, if it fails, I get this bonus again, and I can keep putting it into him. <clears throat> I have to win this fight with black. <laughs> Unbelievable, we're just sitting here clutching with the Portugal 3 cap, with red owning all of this. White's got to be a bot, right? Yeah. If this is the last of white, I will be sad. Maybe I should have hit it. I don't think it was, right? I mean, if white gets fed, like, that, that is actually a problem. If this is the rest of white and he doesn't trade. Okay, he does trade. And it's... It's going to open black. Well, if it opens black and sticks to him, at least he has to go through it. Okay, it wasn't the last of white. It does open black, but hopefully it stays here with the three. Good. So Black's cap can come into me, but he has to hit a white three first. He has a six cap. Keep in mind, he's full attacked everything, right? He blitzed all of his troops out. He has one, two, three, four, five, six troops and a six cap. He's got 12 troops. Like, I have 22 troops. Black has potentially only 12. Funny enough. Do I have a trade on three, by the way? No. Oh my god, if I had a trade on three. If he trades on three and Ram dingles me, the game's over. I mean, he might, game might be over anyways if he full ram dingles. Because he does full send. But if he full sends to take this bonus and doesn't get through my six, it's... Ugh. At any moment, though, my game's over. Like, red could end my game immediately. So could purple if he just comes over goes through red. He's hitting a bunch of something. I'm presuming... Okay, my, my presumption was that purple was going to clean out Orient and then go up into, into Russia. <laughs> See what black starts with, I'm assuming eight. Please don't have a trade on three. Please don't have a trade on three. Oh, no trade. He put everything on this cap. He comes and hits this. Got an 11 left over. Yes, he's going the wrong way, doggy time. Blitz all of your troops out. Seven. His cap's empty. Five. Four. Four cap. He has a four cap. He didn't open my six. I get eight. <laughs> Sorry, nine. I get nine. Red still starts with 16. Red's doing amazing things. Somebody else will get the white kill. Him putting all his troops here. He rolled that stack, the three stack of white, and... Uh, what did he have? He had a six, so he put eight there. He only lost two hitting it. Yeah, Red's just going to take another bonus. He leaves me. I am playing with fire right now, dude. Oh, my God. He's a four cap. 
I could try an eight on four to get him. And if I succeed, I can put my six on it. <clears throat> Do you try an eight before cap blitz? Oh my god, what is an eight before cap blitz? Uh, 67%. Oh wait, it's a nine before. Ooh, nine before is even better. Uh, 79%. Jesus. If it doesn't work, I just lose immediately. If it does work, oh my god. Imagine he has no set on four and this works. How's his territories? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So if I lose it, he'll get 12, he'll get 9 troops. Okay. Three in a trade. Yes, I have a trade to come back if he does it. No one should lead her to it. A six, whatever. Probably already said that from a purple. Oh, baby. The only problem here. Well, okay, so pink and purple are fighting and white's a bot. Pink and purple fight, white's a bot. Red has no enemies. He's just taking bonuses. So I'm fighting black over the honeypot. And if red has no enemies while well, pink and purple fight to the death and white's just a bot, red may use the opportunity and, and just be like, oh, I'm going to disrupt this fight of these guys kamikazing each other and take the new corner pocket. Right? Because he can take all, if he can take all both of us out here and stack Gascony, he's just, he's the big boy. If black doesn't trade here, I'm going to trade kill black trade and then I'm going to... Try to be friends with Red, but Red card blocked me with a single stack in Gascony. Did it take a card? It did. Purple still gets 11. God, I hope Red doesn't come in. This would be the time for Red to come in. He will see that Black starts with only 3. And, that, and he's going to start with 20-something. And I am also praying that Black starts with 3 and he hits the 8 cap. I, I want him to take his original cap back. Or try. Trades are what? Six? So he gets three troops and a six trade. He can make a ten stack. So he could go nine v four into my three cap. Or he can try a ten v eight into this cap. Or he has no trade. And he takes a card and gets smoked. Oh my god, please no trade. Starts with three. Immediate trade. He's going for the cap. <laughs> Botted. Botted! Woo! Da -ba 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 -boop -boop. He bought it, baby. That doesn't matter though, because red may just kill me now. Red's gonna see that black traded and bought it and be like, oh, well, orange won the fight down there. Time to punish orange before he can stabilize. And it would be correct. The correct play for red is to probably just dismantle. He doesn't, he's doing other things. And he doesn't even hit me out of up here. He's just playing friendly for now while people go crazy. <laughs> you could almost make an argument for me to not trade. Because then I'll get a bigger trade than these guys, but I think I should trade. I think trading is the correct play. And I let black get one more card, and then I'll kill him next turn. Uh, red will make a six, go five on five. He won't roll the five on six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So black doesn't have enough territories. If I clean this out, though, red could get his kill for three cards. So maybe I don't clean this out. And I chill. Something like this. I'm kill guarding black. So if red comes down with a 22 or something or a 30 something and and and, and uh, goes for the black kill, I get the black kill. Oh. This is such a tough position. I mean, I wanted the Fiesta dog down in the bottom, right? 
As I said, I didn't take the most correct choices. I took the most fun ones, which can obviously lead to tougher games, but more fun and interesting. Like, I want the honeypot, baby. I want, I want it. Whew. So pink started with 10 traded for 10. He's doing a bit of ram dingling. If I get the black kill, I will get 20 troops to trade from it. White goes down to pink. I'm actually very thankful that pink got the kill and not red. Red is very, very far ahead, I think. Depending on uh, the pink and, and purple fighting, I think red's very far ahead. I need to get out and get a middle cap. Get your fortify back, or maybe not. Purple gets nine to start, so he's only got one of these bonuses. Pink and purple are going to war. They've hit the crap out of each other. And red is just getting very strong. Red should win this game, especially like if these two just fight on the east side, I'm completely blocked off from that. Red literally just takes this corner out. My wishful thinking is that red does not. If he doesn't take the corner out this turn, I have a chance to stabilize. Because <clears throat> I, will, I will hold this bonus with the two caps and then I will kill black for a 20 trade buff the caps, and then have the entire new pocket. I might even just put one troop up here just to try to hold this position. I was hoping blue, black would lose a little bit of troops there, but it didn't. 29 for red. And a 15 trade. 44 troops. <laughs> Switch to attack without highlighting Gascony. Switch to attack. Do not highlight Gascony. Please. I am puckered right now. In the game, baby, we have a chance to win. You're like, how do you have a chance to win? You should be dead. And, yeah, maybe. <clears throat> maybe I should be. But, we are in this game. Holy moly, donut chop. Okay. Let's do the black clean. I could have tried to end in here, but I don't think that's the safe. Okay, good dice. Oh, man. Ninety nine percent. Oh, baby. The Portugal plus two saving. I need an artillery big time. One, two, three. I won't break red. Make this a ten. Make that a 23. Make it a 25. I don't have a trade. <clears throat> Hopefully I can take a card with this next turn and I don't break red and fight red. I do not want to fight red. Oh, man, we're in this game. Unbelievable that we're in the game. I wish I had a trade on three, believe me. If red doesn't hit me for one more turn and I hold... A plus four, a plus six, and a plus three. That's 13 troops on top of two caps. So that's 17 troops on top of seven for the territories. I will get 24 troops a turn if I'm untouched. One or two turns of that and I'm back in this game. Red has way more troops than me. Better position all of this stuff. But pink started with 17. Traded big. I mean, if pink ever decides to come into red... Or purple comes into red. Like, if pink and purple ever mend fences and start hitting red, red's in the center of everybody. Purple's technically in the, like, yeah, red's in the center of all of us, technically, right? Where purple's in the center of pink and red, he's not in the center of me. Pink's attacking more, but he, he I think he misses his fortifies. <clears throat> Does purple start with only nine again? Okay, so pink's still hitting purple. But purple trades on three for 30. It means it's a 35 trade. Red's going to get like 25 and a 35 trade. He could put 60 here. If you just want to think of how dangerous my position is, Red can put theoretically 60 troops here if he has a trade on three and wants to ram dingle. I 
I'm going to try to sneak this forward down here to Sevastopol so I can get cards in here. I want I want to just hide it here so I can get cards without breaking red. I don't want to open red. Uh, Red's caps London. It's not that Gascony would open him, but I don't want him to be like, oh, orange is now my enemy. If I can get cards out here, I... Oh my god, please don't hit my four. Yeah, just focus on pink. Unfortunately, I wish you would focus on red. Okay. So I can take... I can take a card and run to Sevastopol without touching red. Red gets 30 troops and a trade. That's 65 he can place. He can make a 66. He's not. He's going here. He's going to take a cap. Please stack Russia or Prussia. Okay, just he's just guarding and then pointing at me. There it is. <clears throat> we were due. He's going for my kill. Hmm. Or kill guard. Bad dice? Not great dice. I wish I had a trade on three right now. Okay. I guaranteed get a card though. I get 17 troops still. Okay. Well, here we go. He has no trade and now I have to break his bonuses. I don't go into London at all. What's this? Oh, another cap he's got. Red has a lot. Let's open pink. There we go. We open pink. Bring this two up. No, I'll put this on my cap. I have a trade on four. <laughs> oh, like it, it was correct for red to do that. I didn't think red had this cap. I thought maybe red looked at the cap. I didn't think he had this cap. Although it did go to three when he took this. So what cap did I think he had, honestly? I, th I guess I thought he had a white cap somewhere. Which I didn't know where the white... Oh, white cap was in here. Yeah, so I guess purple took the white cap. Red would have took it from him. So I didn't pay enough attention that red would have had this capital. Purple gets 11. I mean... 40 trade if I survive. But this 41 can clean me. Red could go for my kill now. I could pray that he fails. Um, if he fails my kill and fucks up a fortify and I can trade and just take this cap and sit here, then I have the safest cap in the game. Red should have done what he did one turn earlier. Literally one turn earlier and my game was over. And I'm pretty sure he traded the turn earlier, right? On five cards. Okay, doing this means I'm not dying. Is, is that all he does? Okay, the 41 can't get me now. I'm, I don't die. <clears throat> started with 17. What's he start with 16 if I do that? He, he sees my 12. Okay. Yeah, now what? God, if these guys ever trade and hit red. Red has no trade right now. Just a cap. So I pop these. I can make like a six or something. I do have to, I don't actually have to trade, but I should. <laughs> Definitely should. Um, Prussia. Let's go Prussia, I guess. Actually, I could go one, two, three, four. Yeah. And there he is. He gets what, like 17 or 20 or something? <laughs> he can't break this. Unless he gets opened. God, I wish pink would go into red. <clears throat> this is a very tough game. I, I am in such a bad spot. Oh, <clears throat>
Look how strong red is. 90, 100 and... Uh, but like 110 troops plus a bunch of ones. I have 86 to 110. I guess like troop wise, I'm only 30 behind. He must have lost a bunch hitting purple cap or something. Purple starts with 11. Pink starts with five. Pink didn't trade. God, if I could have got the pink kill, maybe. I don't know how much pink has here. Pink starting with five. Maybe just trading cards in Russia and has next to nothing. Does oh here's a problem. Does red kill pink here and then go into me? If red kills pink, trades. If he's open to, ah, he's he's open to pink. If he kills pink and then trades, he probably doesn't realize it. But if he kills pink, he takes the five cards. He trades. He pretty much probably can kill purple or close to it. Gonna try and knock me out of the top, I guess. <clears throat> He's gonna try a three on one. He doesn't realize I also have Finland, so I can get a card there, anyways. Yeah, taste it, baby boy. I still got card. I'm gonna come out here, anyways. <clears throat> Thanks to four. What are the trades? Ugh. One, two, pop, pop, pop. Do I trust that he has no trade on three? Or do I go back to cap? I get card blocked easy. Damn it, I, I don't have a trade on three. <laughs> this is tough. The downsides of playing for fun puts you in a top spot. He's gonna go straight into purple. Dude, if, if he just goes straight in, no. Yeah, come into red. Come around, follow me. No. Dude, purple and pink only caring about each other is so frustrating. You guys don't understand the threat. If you want to win the game, you have to play for the threat. Like, okay, maybe he gets lucky and kills purple. Maybe purple overextended has a weak cap. Like, if pink killed purple into a trade, then I have a friend fighting red. No, he doesn't. And now what? Purple starts with nine. Still has this bonus in this cap. And he's going to go right back into pink. I can't win a 1v1 with red. He's too far ahead, too positionally ahead. Unless he has no trade till four. Or pink takes a fourth card. Like I take a fourth card, pink takes a fourth card. I can trade, kill, pink, trade. And then purple's looking at red. Like, but I, I, red's gonna trade on three and smack my 31, isn't he? It always happens, man. It always happens. There's just, there's nothing I can do about that. Why wouldn't he have a trade on three? But I have to take the chance, otherwise I'm card blocked, right? If I pull that back, I'm easy to card block. <laughs> He's gonna hit my cap, too. Oh, disgusting. Bad dice roll in the cap would help? Like he loses the cap roll would be ideal. No. He's gonna take all the territories. He has no trade though. He's running out of time. He wants to take this. He's gonna not be able to take me out of the rest of the board though. So I can keep my cap open. Where's this fortified to this cap? Cool. So all of his bonuses are still broken. I have a chance to play. Potentially. For a pink um, kill. Trades are what? 55. Jesus.
Dude or artillery, baby? No, I meant to break this too. I meant to also break this. I have no trade on the floor. Are you serious? This game is so hard. <laughs> How can I possibly... Maybe I should have tried to come down. Oh my God, pink trades on three, please. <laughs> At least kill purple if you're doing this. He doesn't have troops in a position to kill purple. There's no chance. Okay, maybe there's not no chance. Maybe he fails the kill, no. He's on, he's, I think he's got 14. Red has three capitals, I have a capital. Where is Pink's troops down here? They're not on a cap, because purple has his cap. He's just trying to card block, so uh, now I know Pink has 100 down here though. He's gonna take his cap, yeah. No, he's gonna. Why are you knocking my three out? I'm trying to survive up here, dog. You don't understand what's happening. You're so angry at pink. Why, you didn't even have to go through my three. You could have went up and around it and hit pink ones. You could have hit only pink. I can't believe I don't have a trade. <clears throat> this is terrible. Red's gonna clean me out of the rest of the board. And then I just have to stack here, take a, oh my God. These guys, <laughs> so frustrating. Dude, if I get second here, that'll be lucky. 2080 can almost just smack my cap as is. He's gonna knock me out of the rest. He gets 28, not counting. Plus five, plus four, plus four, plus four. Five. Yeah, five, four, four, four. It's an extra 17 plus a fear from territories, an extra 20. Once he knocks me out of here. He's gonna get an extra 20 troops on top of his 28. Look at 48. No trade. He won't be able to... And I can break, actually, this in Italy. So I can actually break a couple. Good game. Well played. Good game. Well played. Good, he's rolling more stuff. He's rolling into them now. Yes, that's my only hope. <clears throat> I can't open the Portugal caps. And I also want to keep my pathway to doing stuff. I'm literally stuck in Africa now with no trade. So I have to do this. Might not even be worth hitting this. But I do it. Red can't kill me unless he chains kills. He'd have to kill purple into a trade into me. That's the only way he can kill me. Pink has 100 troops, no cap. Right, Red only still has three caps. So Red actually didn't hit this cap. He just did a bunch of... He probably took this bonus or something. Like, at this point, if Pink and Purple kill each other and I get second, I accept that, right? I got into this war with Black. I was too slow. Red had no war for his bonuses, right? That's the thing. If you can... this The thing about this map is if you can be in an area where you're not at war and everybody else is fighting, you can get strong early enough that you can push the advantage. <clears throat> Doesn't mean red wins the game. I'm going to have a lot of troops after this trade. And I can actually just cap stack and not even open red. I don't have to go out and fight. I can let red get a bunch of turn and let him kill them or fight them. 45, 46 on 36. He cannot kill me right now. The only way he kills me is if he kills purple first. He has to kill purple to get a trade for 65. And then he can try a 66 on 36 to try to kill me. So if you're red, your game plan here is maybe you put 10 or 12 troops down here and then you put the rest up and go for, for purple. <laughs> it's also going to stack in my face. Cool. Keeping that kill guard or what? It was a 28. I know it's in the corner. Okay. It's the snake. I'll let him hold Italy. That's fine. Okay. He's doing a big fortify somewhere. To here? Imagine he fortified a giant stack to Jelfa. Jelfa? Delfa? Can I get a cavalry? Alright. Ah! 
Read like a book. Oh my. You see that? Whoo. It's also got a 28 in here. Weird enough. Because <clears throat> that's not what came down. I would have seen it, right? I would have saw the arrow. Presumably. Because I held Tunisia. Things just rolling. I mean, maybe pink can kill purple here because purple took that cap and maybe it was weak on this cap. Maybe red hit him. I don't know. If pink kills purple in trades, I will be so happy right now because the entire game is going to get shaken up. Oh, that's why purple hit me out of here instead of going around. He's Spanish. We're learning things. No trade. It's okay. A hundred cap is hard to hit, even though red's getting forty-five a turn. Purple, uh, the purple and pink war. Th this, this is uh, how you know the skill level in this lobby is a little lower. Is these guys are just fighting to the death for no reason while red holds forty-five. I mean, purple only hit one territory and chilled forty-nine. Yeah, they get five. They both get five. Red gets forty-nine, and I get eight. We have a problem. We have a common enemy. Are you guys fighting for third and fourth place, or would you like to fight for first? Because I would like to fight for first. Maybe we can do that together? This would be a pretty good comeback if we could pull it off. I could try some weird kind of card block on me or something. Nope, it goes back. Cool. There it is. We got a trade. We will have almost 200 troops. Please kill purple. No, card and pass. Please trade and go hit red. I mean, okay. We've reached the port part, the port, the part of the game where it's kind of like we got to chill. <clears throat> Pink is sad, crying, and then shocked face. And then purple has no trade on four. Red's going to trade on four and double kill these guys. Okay. It might be over now. If you're red, like, I think red's decent. I don't think he's excellent. I think he's decent. But if, if he knows what's good for him right now, you just... These guys are weak as hell and really not... Like, they've got nothing. Yeah, you kill one of them. You can already see all of them. You know how weak they are. You kill one of them. You trade. You kill the other one. You trade. And then you just... You win, right? There's nothing I can do. I just have to accept second if that happens. Yeah. There goes purple. He trades and then he goes into pink. If he can't kill pink and pink trades on four, we may have a game. There's no cap run, right? And like, I would need to get extremely lucky that he's not got stacks on all these caps, but he does. Okay, he doesn't go for pink. Or he has enough to kill pink. That's why he's already lined. He might already have enough off cap to kill pink, which would be funny. Or, sorry, enough already lined up on pink. At this point, I might go for a pink kill if he doesn't get it. Does his timer reset back here? Comes back here? That means he gets the kill if it jumps back. Pink owns a lot, apparently. He's got a habit. Okay. We we also got the center cap. He's going to have a trade on four.
That's why you hang around. Do I have a trade on three? Fucking yeah, baby. You want to taste the rainbow, baby boy? Loses two and 11, doesn't matter. You're in a 1v1 with daddy now. <laughs> yeah, you should have killed me when you had the chance. Do you know how to play a 1v1? This is the dance of the person that's going to win the game. You know how I know that? Because he's doing the same dance right now. So, it doesn't matter who wins. Oh, that cap is blocked? Ooh, Ripper Reno, dog. <laughs> okay. Hmm. He has no trade. This cap is now blocked, by the way. It can only take this card or hit my 119. <laughs> he starts with 20 a turn. Can't get through the 33. He, I mean, obviously, he can do a reach around. We're going to work on things. Now, I have 327 troops. He has 230 here plus this cap. We're probably equalish in troops. He's ahead on cards. He's still in a winning position. I would still say he's ahead of me. But holy crap. <clears throat> it's going to take quite the play for him to beat me here. And if he does it, mad props to him, man. Uh, we have a game. Oh, baby. Okay. <clears throat> what else you got? Start working on these, uh, these card blocks or what? You got a fortify going on? No, back to cap. Okay, cool. <clears throat> He doesn't own any bonuses that I care about. Uh, let's see what his speed is, by the way. His speed hasn't been terrible, but it also hasn't been great. Trades for 100, he could try this cap, right? I lose this middle cap and I'm in trouble. <laughs> 150. Uh, 161, 261 on 150, not good. Still okay. Keep in mind, like, he's in a good spot for cards, man. Like, if he traded on three, he could set up a card block while I'm on two. Like, there's situations where he, he can do a lot of damage to me. Now, if he trades on four and I trade on three and I can card block him, we're not in a card block state yet. So this is going to be maybe a, a bit of a speed fight for now. But I, I guess the, there's not enough territories being taken that it matters speed-wise. <clears throat> okay. Comes off cap completely here. Okay, if he runs out of time, though, then it will matter. He wants to think about this 50 cap. How much am I protecting this? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay. So we can go... Something like this.
Need to buff this capital, by the way. Oops. I messed up. I messed up with that split. I did the... I, not No joke. I actually flicked the mouse wheel up so it would split only a three, and it didn't register. I think I didn't have the mouse over the right spot. <clears throat> That's my own fault. Trying to be fast because the time was getting there. That was an error. Unforced error. I would have broke both of these bonuses without opening this capital. And I would have also taken Italy and... Uh... Rip. That's okay. This four. Like, this is fine. Like, we're trading back. He, like, what do I start with? I start with 22, he starts with 28. Like, it's, this is meaningless, right? As long as the trades come through and I outplay him in the later game, right? <clears throat> For now, I just need to not lose this center cap. And keep this trap capped. Or tra stack trapped. All of his capitals are trapped. Mine's open. <laughs> I need to bring more. I'll bring the 80 down. Or is it 130, 144 enough? 100, 244 plus like 18 ish. I can't lose this middle cap. Tell me I have a trade on four. Thank you, dudes. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, he starts with 18. It is, it is what it is. We just keep breaking each other for now. Once the trades get a little bit bigger or I find an opportunity where he's lower on cards, like if he early trades and I early trade to follow it, I can try to set up a card block, force him to take this card first, Dynarites, and then this cap would be fully trapped. For 100, you can hit the 50 cap now? I mean, if he hits the 50 cap, it's fine. It's less troops he has up here, and I can, uh, I can push an advantage out of the middle, right? Card blocking him is... Is the problem, or is is the goal right? Not necessarily the bonus system, that's right. Also, if he leaves a hundred off cap troops, I will roll it. Gain a little bit of troop advantage there. <clears throat> I'll just move right through Spain with the hundred. No fortify, good. Three, four. Oh my god, worst dice roll ever on a good slider. That's That should have cleaned all these ones. That was actually very unfortunate and unlucky. I only get plus six on that. That's also unfortunate and unlucky. Damn this game. Oops. That's an error. By your boy. No, I don't care about that cap. If he hits that 50 cap, that's fine. <laughs> this should have... Uh, these three ones should have been gone. He should have got 16 troops this turn. <laughs> the thing is, if he trades on three, and then I have no trade until five, he can trade, set something up, and I have one, two, three turns until I can respond <laughs> with a trade. That's the deadly position right now. If I could card block him for one turn. Totally fine with the bonus break shenanigans, right? We go back and forth on bonus breaking until card trades get big enough that I can actually start pushing a real advantage. <laughs> He's slow. There's going to be a time where he messes up a fortify.
He doesn't retake. He's got all these bonuses broken, basically, but no, not, nothing else. So I can... Should be able to... Jesus. Based on that, my friends. The trade on that is probably a little too deadly. Uh, no, no trade for me. He's not trading on four, though. <laughs> Yeah, see, now he's only added all of his troops here. He has, and if he comes up with a 13, he can't break everything. Now, there you go. He can't break everything. Russia and Orient, I hold now. Small errors, and now I get a whole shitload more troops. He's probably getting flustered. He's going to also open my 10 stack. I can come down and leave the 10 here. Make things more awkward for him. I can do a little breaky here. I, I know how to break him without opening weird lines for him. It's a 62. Are you going to hit that cap? Not anymore, because I'm about to not let you have that opportunity. Yeah, he's also going to take this. Cool. <clears throat> Imagine he messed that fortify up. That's a bonus I'm not breaking, though. Uh, it's a 7. Let's drop this to 69. Boom, 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 boom. Uh... Bigger. Uh, no, it's fine. Oh, that was a misclick. Whatever. I have a trade? Oh my god, no trade on four. Come on, dog. I'm doing dirty stuff to this man. He's slow. Like, Try to distract him a little bit with emotes. I'm not one of those like emote spammers like JJ, bro. Like, hey, hey. I, would, I can't stand that like 10-year-old stuff, right? Playing a video game, spamming emotes. But I do like to do the laughing face, good game, well played, and then like let him know it's over, right? Like, there you go. All of his troops are on cap now. And now I'm holding most of the board. So is he going to try? So now I'm recognizing he's changing his game plan. No, maybe not. He's stacking caps and breaking some bonuses, but still leaving me cards. If he wants to change to, like, a I'm stacking cap strategy, the way to do that is to also card block him. Like, can I card block him if he gets 18 a turn? If he opens a 69, maybe? Sixteen. I can't block him right now. So fourteen. Twenty. Uh, I don't know. Seven. Oops. Probably wanted to come in here with a bit more. That's fine. Eight on five wins. I was due for some uh, good fortune there. I don't break Spain, or I do. Yeah, I break Spain. Screw him. This. Got like almost 200 troops on this cat, which is worthless because I'm never opening it. I'm never opening Portugal again. Yeah. And I, now I'm going to actually accrue a big advantage by holding most of the board when he holds very little of it. So I'm actually, now we're building a lead. He no longer is going to win this game. I mean, when was he ever going to win this game? Let's be real. We knew right from the start when I had a three capital in Portugal and nothing going for me. We all knew Hilton's going to win this game, right? Let's be real. <laughs> oh, God. <clears throat> I can tell you I didn't know that. <laughs> Not a chance. Not a chance did I know in the moment there.
30 something. I need to make this big enough that he's not going to hit it. I also need this big enough that it's fine. 190 probably is. Oops. 69. And then a little bit of shenanigans. Okay. Alps. <laughs> 21 a turn for him. Did I screw something up? No, because he's got this bonus too, right? He's got Noob Corner and, and uh, Southeastern Europe, right? Yeah. <clears throat> oh, it's coming out. Loses more than half, or more than even, so that's good for me. It's fine. Do I have a trade on three? No. But don't need it. He's probably going to open my capital. Thank you. Yep, thanks. I want to say thanks, but... The, the thing is, like... I'm tr I, like, I want to emote to let him know, hey, it's over, you know, you know, concede, don't make me kill you for the next 30 minutes slowly and painfully, like, but I, I think he's, he's, uh, he has to learn that it's going to be slow and painful then. But this is actually a great end game. Like, if you're the red player and you're learning, this is a great end game to learn from. Watching how to lose this position or how to win this position playing against me right now. Okay. Uh, 26. I need to be... Oh, he has no trade. <clears throat> he has no trade, so I can actually leave this cap weaker. <clears throat> That's good. That's really good. So let's do the full-on reach-around sweeper. The way the good lord intended it. Annoying, but okay. And yeah, Ram Dingle time. One forty four beside your one forty four, bro. Friends forever. And you get twenty one troops. <laughs> it's fine. He's gonna come out with his twenty one, and that's all he's got, right? He's blocked. All his troops are trapped. They're all fully trapped. He can't break all of this. I'm gonna. I, I, I might. No, he's got. He's still got more troops than me, right? Keep in mind, he has this 144. He has 200 on Portugal, so he's got 344. Not even counting London. Like, and he probably has 100 plus or 150 on London. Like, he's maybe he doesn't. I could go look, but I'm not gonna open it. I could. No, I could. I, I can't open it the way I want. Uh, I don't need to trade to do anything. So I'm not going to. Uh, I can just do the same reach around. I'm getting 34 a turn. He's getting a lot less. That's perfectly fine for me. Make sure this camp's big, just in case he's going to trade on three and try to do something. Keep in mind, like, I guess I'm a couple cards ahead while he has more troops than me. And then when he, when I trade, I'll be equal-ish, but he'll be a couple cards ahead, or a card ahead. <clears throat> Ooh, nice. Now I could actually look at London. I'm going to look at London now. Just a little peeky peek. Like, I, and now I'm holding Africa for, like, ever. I could, I could trade and full-on card block him now, and if he doesn't have a card, he's done. But uh, I don't think we're quite there yet. I don't want to leave that many off-cap troops. I'm also going to do some kind of like this, just to look at London, without opening it. Eighty-five is fine. The rest go to the middle cap. Yeah, seems good. 74. He wants me to open this cap now if I break Spain. Interesting. Okay, well played. I didn't put enough there. You can hold Spain. And I don't connect. I 
I mean, I could take London from him at some point. 275 plus 150. So he's like 425. But a card ahead. Like, so, like, I've got a massive lead. I'm getting way more than him every turn. He will quit soon. Okay. The one thing that's neat is he is waiting till five to trade. So if he has a trade on three or four, he's specifically holding it until five cards. So if I try to card block him, he has a trade, right? If you trade on three or trade on four, and then you only have one or two cards, I can guarantee to card block you. But he's not letting that happen. <laughs> there you go. Open my two to come back up. Thank you. Hit the three. You want to see that 100 cap? No. Brings the seven back to uh, London. Seven to London or eight to Portugal? Seven to London. Make an 80. Oh, down to the corner. Wow, wow. Wow, wow, wee, wow. Doing some weird stuff just for funsies. Three, four, five, six. Okay. <laughs> I have a trade to follow whatever he wants to do here. Good game. I'm trying to, like, good game. Like, it's over. Come on. Moving on. <laughs> I'm ready to go. Like, I, I want to record more videos today, right? I've already I've already chalked this one up to a W. Epic comeback. Come from behind. Slammer dogged. Spanish player causing mayhem. Can't believe red snowballing. Epic come from. I don't know what the title's going to be or any of that. But that's for later. But I'm already, like, all right, let's go. Let's go record a second game. Let's go play another game, right? Like, I want to play more than one game today. I'm going to play three or four, probably. Try to get some more videos that are good. This is my first game of the day. Feeling good. Feeling very good. I cannot believe. I, I Honestly, I was accepting that I was going to get second place. I was going to upload you guys a cool little honeypot video where I end up with second place. And just one opportunity. Sometimes you just have to hang around and you get that one little opportunity. And holy... <clears throat> okay, now I, tr now I can't card block him because of the 74, right? Unless I take it. If I take London, maybe that's more likely for him to quit. Maybe we do that. 14. Uh, 14. 1. 14. 14. This. Okay. What's he got for cards? He gets 14 a turn. No trade on three or what? Now look at what he's looking at. Accept it. Accept defeat. 15 v 12. Go for it, doggy time. Nope. Wants to sneak around and now it's a 14 v 12. Taste it, baby boy. You're not even going to win that roll. Oh, it doesn't even try. Runs back to capital. It's my little capital. Protect me strong. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying, dude. Uh, I love that those of you that can appreciate me for how stupid I am and how goofy I am. <clears throat> Some people are like, you said something stupid. And it's like, well, of course I did. I talk a lot. Like if I just, I never shut up for hours. Of course I said something stupid. <laughs> that's just, that's kind of how it works. 
Okay, so. He probably has a trade on four, but if he doesn't. If he doesn't, he's he's actually blocked now. I have a trade on three at the perfect time to re-block him. Yeah, baby. No trade? Ah, he's got trade. He's the, He already knows he's ram dingling here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine, because I just... I'm going to make them all 20s, too, because I don't want a 14 getting a lucky card. Punch, 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 punch. Come on. Oh, protect your chin. Protect your chin. Hook. Oh, hook. That wasn't a hook. That was a cross. All right, all right. Let's go. Oakley dokley. The reason I didn't clean out Noob Corner is because these are guaranteed cards for me. Go on with all your bad self. You want to see how fast a man can set up a card block? I will show you. It's a 50 something at the end. Card block or no? He has 15 a turn now that he gets these extra territories. <clears throat> but I made 20, so it's a 16v20 is his best roll. And we did it. Let's go baby town. You can also try a 19v24, but uh, taste it, baby boy. Woo! That's right. Suicide in your cap, into my cap. <coughs> I just take a card here and chill. I'll make them all 22s, maybe. Always getting a fortify in. Oh no. I hold a board, dude. Yeah, 326. Wowzers. Uh, I'm not even going to open that. Uh, hmm. This is funny. This is funny. All right, all right. You want to ram dingle? Go ram dingle. Have at her. Ram dingle. Oh, no booyah shaka. Can go back to capital. This guy's really like, at this point, he's stalling. <laughs> Report him for stalling. I'm just kidding. Go for it. There you go. Now I have to make my things bigger. Loses? Oh, what's his, what's his, uh, fortify? Watch this card block. It's going to be funny. <laughs> so. Oh, I can't do it as much as I want. That's unfortunate. That's okay. I'm going to give him less cards. Or, sorry, less troops. <clears throat> the 20s won't hold. 
24, yeah. <clears throat> that could fail! What's up, baby boy? 24, that's all you get. Now I'm making these 30s. gonna try the 28 in the bottom twenty four v twenty eight in the bottom no <clears throat> he bought it you bought it dude all right whatever he quit that's fine good game I would have uh would have been cool to uh to have him concede and I just ended it fast, but uh, if you're gonna do that, then I understand. Ah, uh, ah, uh, no. Hmm. That's not going to work, right? That won't work. You might be like, why would you do that? Now if he comes back, he scumbag bought it. He can reverse card block you. It's over. This is over, over. He's got 110 troops here and 160 here. He has 270 troops to my 653. I have five cards. There's nothing he can do. I can just take 200 off a cap and put it in his face, no matter where. He's barely got 200 troops. <clears throat> Plus, holding the board gives you like 70 something, and the trades are only 150. So, like, actually, if he gets cards and I don't, but I get 75 a turn, every three turns he gets 150 and I get 225. Like, that's. It, it's donezoed, <clears throat> if you know what I mean. It is fully donezoed. So. Something like this. Yeah, we're world dom and just for, you know, why not? 17 v 10? Do I win? You're damn right I do. What a game, oh my God. You guys might be, we've been watching me crush this guy for 20, 30 minutes. Remember the start of this game. Remember the Alamo. <laughs> I'm not American, so. White was a master. Red was an intermediate. Yo, uh, three intermediates and a master. White was the master. White bought it immediately, so something crazy happened that just slaughtered that guy. Pink and purple, that fight on the right side. Oh my god, that was so dumb. Anyways, uh, good game to Red. Uh, you played a good game. Uh, my only... Criticism, I would say, is the turn he destroyed me, he should have done that one turn sooner. And then I would have had literally no chance. And uh, other than that, like, he's he's pretty good. He, he didn't have a bad end game. Um, that yeah, just keep playing and have, having fun. Uh, thank you guys for joining to the end of the video. What an epic comeback. More risk every single day on this channel. More risk every day on my second channel, Kilted Gaming, down below. If you don't know about it, I will catch you guys in the next video.